Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3, the 100% playthrough. If you want to see more of this series quicker, <sighs> well, don't you know? All you got to do is like the video, leave a comment, subscribe with the bell turned on, check out the Patreon and the Twitch if you'd like to go the extra mile and appreciate it. Last episode, we made it to the Tiefling camp and, uh,. Yeah, you could kind of jump out of here. I've never done this before. I don't know where this goes. Pouch empty. We're gonna go. We're gonna see though. I'm very excited. You should stay clear. Yeah, you don't say. What is this? Wooden barrel. We've got two droplets of water. What the heck is that thing? Can't tell what that is. Uh, we, what we could do? So you can click and hold to drag a wooden barrel and like move it like so. We've got a malnourished torch stock. Interesting. This is one of the only things I don't like about Baldur's Gate 3 and Divinity Original Sin 2 for that matter is that um, whenever it comes to traps, they tend to put them all over the place. And you could obviously make a thing of like, well, I mean, their traps are supposed to be nice. Ooh, brimmed hat. I'm going to send that to Gale, give him a wizard's hat. Yeah, let's equip that onto Gale. How are you looking with that one, buddy? Oh, you looking like a total wizard. Uh, give this one to Astarion. Yeah, there we go. Give this one. She's got a circlet. Literally called a circlet, so it's fine. Uh, also, yeah, let's manage our inventory as we come across it. So we'll add this to wares. Uh, that's cool. Okay, moving on. So I'm constantly holding left alt here. Can't get there, liar. I can jump there, like so. Hiya! And usually if that you're... Worth a look. What is this? Makeshift prison? I don't think that I did this. What is that? Rotating a rotting basket. Uh, I do not know. Oh, uh, we're here. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to do is jump from here to here. And then uh, go... Um, mess with the stone door so that now this makes sense i just didn't realize there was a path leading back around that way all right so cool we have a stone door here we're going to save the game because this is going to be quite scary with a capital s but into cursed. the stone door we go what do we have in the underground passage there's only one way to find out glowing eyes are rarely a good sign <laughs> oh god okay uh did some bleeding hearts show up to save the druid? I'll cut you to pieces. I just love this dude's face. He looks like such a goblin. It's it's so funny. Commence the battle ranged attack on Gale, which misses. Okay, we could have done this a lot better. Actually, we're already half health, everybody, so that's kind of scary. Um, I think we're going to get everybody back to full health here, so we will use a potion of healing, which costs a bonus action. But, yeah, thieves are overpowered, man, perhaps, because, yeah, we can do that, and then we can still use a bonus action and still use a regular action. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, we have a goblin fight here. Um... So there are these guardian statues, which are sturdy. And if you don't shut off the prerequisite little uh, switches, wherever that switch was here, Rune of the Bear, I think these are like druid traps, basically. Um, they will fire stuff at you. So that's what happened there, for anybody confused. Uh, we're going to move right over here. We're also in mud, so we have to be careful. We're going to cunning action hide. We're going to use a sneak attack here. 88% chance to hit warrior Gresh with a bow, which we will do and deal 12 damage, not bad, a Starion. We got Sharp Eye Gerza. In Snaring Strike, we get the saves. We're going to use Hellish Rebuke 2 and deal 12 instantly killing. Uh, we get Mist as well. Uh, with Gale, we're going to use a Potion of Healing to heal 7, and then we can use Magic Missile or Melf's Acid Arrow. 65% chance doubled movement cost, difficult terrain mud. 65% chance on tracker Torak. Uh, actually, what we could do is use magic missile here. 100% chance. God, magic missile is so good. And then boom, and then boom. So we want to hit this guy with three damage, and this guy ideally with five times two. That'd be crazy. Uh, yeah, there we go. Killed that guy. Then this guy's at one HP. We'll get Gale around over here as well. Time to push 
find okay, out. Okay, now we've got ya boy, Dirge, who is going to Eldritch Blast. 65% chance. We need one damage here. We deal 13 whopping damage. Now we can also Misty Step. It uses a level 2 Warlock spell slot, however. It's on the turn. Uh, we've got Findal, who is just collapsed. 1 HP unconscious. So I don't know how the. What the heck is that thing? Guardian statue. Wait, what? This thing gets a turn? I shut it off, though, didn't I? This should be unpowered. It should not attack me. If it attacks me, that's going to be weird. Going to use a health potion here, and then we've got just one more tracker worm, uh, which we will move up as far as we can. We're on mud, so our movement is doubled. Difficult terrain. Uh, range attack deals 2 to 7. Firebolt deals 1 to 10. Firebolt has a 40% chance to hit. Range attack has a 45% chance to hit. We could also hamstring shot. What about guiding bolts? 55% chance to hit, but we can upcast. Deals an additional 1 to 6 radiant damage per level. Uh, I'm feeling good about this one. 55% chance to hit. Let's do it. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, we've got Findal here. Let's go and interact with him. Breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. So this guy, I believe, is a druid. And what we can do is we can take one of these potions of healings. Uh, I guess we have to do it through the item menu. Grab one of these potions of healings, throw throw it on Fendal. And that's going to heal him for five. Hello there. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was going to die down here. Don't think me yet. I'm here to finish what they started. Do we give in to the dark urge? Uh, that would make all of the druids angry, or at least our companions. Maybe we always get more information first. I'm surprised the goblins didn't get you on sight. Why didn't they? They were asking questions about a weapon. I told them the only weapons here are the ones the foul bloods brought. I must tell the others what happened. I step careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. No problem, Feindal, who is from the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Uh, we've got Warrior Gresh. Do we have any other dudes behind us? I don't think there's anything over this way. There's some weird stuff in this cave, Something though. Good, yeah. We're going to have to be very careful. Warrior Gresh, Bone, pick up an add to wares, Acid Vile, Great Axe, pick up an add to wares, and three gold. We've got Tracker Torak, who has a skull, pick up an add to wares, a goblin bow, pick up an add to wares, and six gold. We've got Sharp Eye Gerza, who has a goblin bow, two arrows of acid, and five gold. We've got a water barrel. I don't want to attack it, I just want to loot it. I guess we can only. Oh, I guess you can. Oh, yeah, you can use. Uh, so you, we could have picked this up and like washed away the mud. I'm sure. Boots have seen everything. Oh, uh, we've got a tracker worm up here. Let's go up there and interact with them. We have to be very, very careful here. However, tracker worm with a bone. Pick up an add to wears. Goblin bow. Pick up an add to wears. And one singular gold. Oh, uh, we've got a path over this way. I think, if I remember right, that is a dead end. So we can definitely go check that out in a second. Uh, we're going to find these runes and turn them off ASAP. Oh, God. Uh, that's not good. I think that's still active. Can't reach destiny. Are we, like, hidden? And there's also an oil barrel here. Are we perhaps in... Oh, look at that. We can't even see back here because we don't have dark vision. We're going to have to get some sort of dark vision. That would be very helpful. Uh, let's go to a star... Astarian. We will lockpick oh, this skin. chest. Perception Trap. successful. How considerate. Thieves tools. We're going to cancel because this one is trapped. You use a trap disarm toolkit to neutralize dangerous traps. Okay, so disarm, which is going to bring up a skill check here. We need a 10. We have a total bonus of 7, so we need a 3. We get a 20. I'm assuming not a nat 20, however. Okay, and now we need to lockpick it as well. Let's go ahead and lockpick it. Uh, we need a 5, 6, 7, 8 here. And we get an 18. Not bad. And what do we have in this chest? It's gonna be... 
uh, a Viridian Crystal, a Silk Glant, 36 gold, and Nature's Snare. Unique weapon that I don't think I've ever found, actually. It is a quarterstaff, flytrap, chance to ensnare target if it is not a plant or a beast. Main hand only. That does sound quite interesting. Let's send that to Gale. And then we will take a look at what Gale has in his hand. He's got Cor Corlon's Grace. Plus one bonus to unarmed attack rolls and damage. While the wielder is not wearing armor, they receive a plus two bonus to saving throws. What's better here? A uh, chance to ensnare a target if it's not a planner. But I'm assuming that is just if you attack, right? So let me know in the comment section below. But I think this is actually better because we get that unhampered resistance. Plus two bonus to saving throws, which is always persistent. Whereas this one, uh, we will only trigger that if we... Um, if we uh, uh, hit somebody with this, which can deal zero to seven damage. So we're going to send that to camp. We're going to send all unique weapons to camp, basically. Uh, send this to Dirge as well. Gold, all gold belongs to Dirge. Glad I saw that. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to have to look up a list of all, like, uniques. Because I would way. like all uniques if we could possibly get them. Although some are probably going to be, you know, canceled out. And we're not going to be able to get them no matter what we do. Depending on our choices. Uh, wooden crate here. Potion of healing. Wooden crate here. Potion of nothing. Wooden crate here. Potion of nothing. Wooden crate here. We've got scroll of dark vision. Interesting. I'm assuming that's placed there so that we can see that chest over there. Scroll of ice knife. Podion of healing. And I think we're going to short rest as well to heal up everybody and get their spell slots back. All right. Now, this is where things get interesting. Um, first, I think we're going to go this way because, like I said, I believe this is a dead end, if I remember correctly. Sorry for the darkness, by the way. Um, we don't have dark vision, which kind of sucks. I usually like taking, uh, you know, practical effects in my Let's Plays, like lockpicking effects and stuff like that, so that we can access basically everything. Uh, what do we have in here? Uh, let's move forward. Hello? Can we move forward a little bit? Thank you. There we go. Perception Fine. failed. Perception successful. Okay, we got traps over here, which we could disarm, but there's not really a reason. And a stone slab, which is illegal to interact with. It is locked. I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to have to open up a notepad and keep track of certain things like this that we'll have to come back to. Uh, I've found this before, and I don't remember if I've actually been able to access it or not. Are you a fool? Are you an actual fool? Literally walks directly into the... I feel like, honestly, like if you're aware of the trap, the AI should automatically path around it. But, you know, I did that. So I, I, I have to take responsibility. It's so my responsibility. Okay. So as I said, this room is very, very dangerous. Um, you can see down there, there's a rune of the wolf. Now, I thought I was being really clever by taking my light crossbow and shooting the rune of the wolf like so however it does not work i think what the game wants you to do is actually summon a mage hand or some you have to get over there uh and actually interact with it uh in order to shut it off so you can use mage hand which i'm not sure if anybody actually has oh gale does have mage hand nice create a spectral hand that can manipulate and interact with objects perfect okay so the question is can the mage hand look jump over there also there's a way to destroy these statues too notice there's a bear statue there and i think there is another one up this way as well yes there's an eagle statue oh i'm dumb so there's one for each statue right or is there more there's like two statues over here there's three statues over here however and there's just that one rune are there just three runes yeah, okay, I guess how this works is, yeah, we shut off the wolf, we shut off the eagle, now there's just the bear, or just the wolf, or which one is this? Root of the wolf, okay, so there's just the wolf, the wolf is the only one that's powered up. So, we have to not get in its line of vision, basically. So, how are we gonna do this? If we were an arcane trickster, I think we could move with a starion, and have a starion, um, summon a mage hand, but unfortunately we are not an arcane trickster, so let's move over here. Double click on her portrait so that it follows us. 
And then we'll save. I think what happens if is if we jump over to this, it will start attacking us. So let's go to Gale. Let's have Gale summon the Mage Hand. How far can we summon this thing? Oh, really? All the way over here. Perfect. And then, okay. All right. Cool beads. <laughs> That's what I was kind of worried about. So the question is, can we destroy this? I have seen it destroyed. Arcade recovery replenish spell slots while out of combat. You cannot restore spell slots above fifth level. Can we use magic missile on this thing? It's not going to deal enough damage. But we need something that's like replenishable. What about a firebolt cantrip? 100% chance to hit. Immune to fire damage toughness. Some objects are unusually strong. You need to deal enough damage at once to actually damage them. Immune to fire. What about... Guiding bolts. We have sacred flame, an evocation cantrip, no target. So the question is, how do we get over here without this wolf statue destroying us? Uh, I am going to save. I don't like save scumming, but this has always been a really weird situation for me. I think we have a Staria. I mean, the problem is we need to jump over here, and as soon as we jump, this thing's gonna see me no matter what I do, right? Hmm. 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 Uh, can I even jump over here? We can. We can jump right there, and then immediately this statue is going to hit me. I'm just going to... Yeah, okay, so let's move Astarian out. Go to Astarian. Go to hide. Jump. I don't think we remain hidden after we jump, but let's see. Okay, just immediately shut that off. Hey, looks like it worked. Okay, yeah, this was always confusing me because I wasn't sure. See, like, these statues keep glowing. And you would think they would just be... Oh, I guess they're glowing because they're turned off? Very bizarre. Anyways, we're going to drag Astarion back to the party list. Go back to Dirge. We're going to jump down here. Negative one HP. So we want to avoid damage if possible. Uh, is there a way to jump over here? Come on. You got to give me a way. What if I move down over here? Very well. Will perhaps you let me jump now? Not enough space. Aha! No hesitation. It's all about finding the right pixel, which the computer should be able to do it. And it told me no damage. So there we go. Now, unfortunately, when your companions jump over, uh, they will sometimes take damage. The AI is not smart enough to avoid it if you avoid it. We've got Dead Human here who has a Hyena Ear, a Fire Amber, and a Charred Key. A Singed Silver Key held by a long dead corpse in a Druid Cave. I'm going to examine just to see if it tells us anything else. It does not tell us anything else, unfortunately. We'll take that. We'll take the gold. We'll hold Alt to see if there's anything else. Rune of the Wolf. I remember I was adventuring with some of my friends. And I actually turned the rune on again after they disabled it because I wasn't, I didn't realize it was related to the trap. Ooh, over there. a dirt mound, which we can dig with the shovel. Let's see what we got. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something as soon as I'm able to hover over it in the right particular spot. Takes a delicate touch, you see. Belladonna, alchemical ingredient. Dagger root. Autumn Crocus, Mugwort, Trap Disarm Toolkit, which will send to a star, and some gold. Cool beans. And I think that's it for down here. So now we're going to jump back. Uh, yeah, like I said, jump is your best friend. Question is, what is the key that we just got there for? I'm assuming it's not for that giant slab door in that other room because this game is so good that if it's a giant slab with no keyhole, which, by the way, if we interacted it with it in a certain way, I think uh, they, somebody would say, oh, it's got no keyhole. So yeah, I'm going to assume it's not for that. I'm going to guess it's for the chest that we already looted with a unique item in it. And uh, let's go out this way and see where this takes us. Hmm. What's that? What's what? The stone door that we just came out of... Well, my lass, you should know what that is. Uh, where the heck are we, by the way? 
So Emerald Grove environs, here's the entrance to the Tiefling camp, and now we're over here. This is a whole zone that we do not want to interact with, with, not want to interact with just yet. Let's fast travel back to the Emerald Grove environs and walk this away towards the Emerald City. Because I've got to go through the Emerald City. Because I've got to go to the Emerald City. The sign of tentacles so far. The same, except for a knot of worry in my stomach that's in no rush to go away. That I can relate to. Yeah, I can relate to that too. I mean, who wouldn't? If there's a chance we could turn into a disgusting... Wait, a Starion? Oh, you're still hiding. Here, don't hide anymore, my friend. Time for discretion. Don't hide? Well, I guess he, like, stopped hiding after we got caught by a... Okay, I need you to not... Yeah, I guess he'll get caught regardless, so it doesn't... It'll correct itself. Alrighty, um, I don't think we went to the left over here, so let's go to the left. Actually, wait, where does to keep this going. go? Oh yeah, that wraps back around to um, where Cannon died when he got shot with the arrows, which is one thing I wanted to mention that I never got to mention was it's so cool that uh, they actually kill people and then the people have names and there's actual consequences of people shouting out, No! Cannon! Or whatever. Find that awesome. Uh, let's go this way. What is up there? Wait a second. Any climbable paths over here? Who is up there? Can we jump? Too high. Not enough space. And we don't really have a strength character. The What's closest the would be Shadowheart, right? Can Shadowheart jump up there? That would be crazy. Yeah, if we had a strength character, I've, they might be able to, like, jump all the way to the top. There's got to be a way to, like, get around to that, however. Um, okay, I didn't want you to jump because now you just took one damage but that's fine come on back over all right let's see who have we not talked to we reloaded a save so i'm a little confused also control dirge it's kind of weird uh, okay did we talk to ikaron we've known enough don't be yeah, we. I mean, we've talked to him, but I'm not sure if we've talked to him in this in this save basically we did all the training did we talk to the strange... Oh, because I went here when I reloaded. Uh, let's talk to everybody just to make sure. We'll talk to Toron. We cornered in this place. Right. We'll talk to... Oh, we still have the animal speaking, don't we? So we should have talked to these guys. Hungry ox. Mm, grass. Bored ox. I have no more to say. Okay, yeah, we definitely talked to these people. Strange ox. Moo, right. Do oxes even say moo? Or do oxen say moo? Uh, we got that kid that that gives us a weird look. We got yeah, we got that cupboard key too, which I don't know where that goes to. Unfortunately, this game is just so detailed. There's so many things like keys that you don't actually know where they go to. Uh, we talked to these people. We talked to the to the to the blacksmith. Did we talk to these two over here? Octa. We'll be leaving. Okay, and then Auntie Ethel. Make sure you talk to Auntie Ethel. Need anything? Any lotions or potions? Lotions or potions? I need help. I've been infected by a mind flayer parasite. As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly. I see no sign of a tentacle yet. But that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. There's something strange about you. Oh, whatever do you mean, Petal? Petal! <laughs> You have a certain bearing and almost fae-like quality. It detects something devilish, I think. Much you hail from fae, perhaps. I detect something devilish, I think. Devilishly charming, you mean? <laughs> I'm a simple woman, sweetie. Tea and potions are as exciting as it gets for these old bones. But enough nattering. I'll be heading home shortly. Here, let me mark it on your map. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Pet. Okay, something definitely up about her. I don't think that's 
much of a jump to say. Uh, who do we have over here? Traveler's Chest Backpack, we've got... Hold still. Melly? I'm waiting on someone, and you aren't him. Do you mind? I very much mind. That's quite rude. Also, what are you doing? Oh, Shadowheart, are you traveling with us, or are you doing your own thing? Uh, we have got Barth, right, who fought point. with us. Whoa. Oh! Looking at you is painful enough. What just happened there? Oh, we got Ramira, who also fought with us. Damn, goblins. Yeah, they're buggers. Ogle the gash in her flesh. Probably could have worded that any other way. Wait for her to finish cleaning the wound. You should probably get that look. I, I guess as the dark urge, we would ogle the gash in her flesh. You lose yourself in the scab's weeping sea. It is no masterwork, but it provides a base bliss to gaze upon. Like the sight of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet. If Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. Now, what's really interesting is if she dies, which I believe she can, we don't even get this interaction. Uh, he let you in, didn't he? It could have been worse. I'd have done the same in your place. You put your own people first. That's just the way it is. He let you in, didn't he? It could have been worse. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe. But not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. The stupid bastard! Uh, but not Liam. Who the heck is Liam? Uh, so you just left your friend to the goblins? These weren't no normal goblins. And Liam weren't no friend, alright? Just another raw recruit thought he was in some storybook. Fair! Get back, kid. I already told you I don't have it. How stupid are you? Let's see what's going on with these two, Barth. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Hand it over, or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. You're literally wearing a locket, kid. I'm assuming it's a different one, however. Keep quiet and watch. Do it, you gutless stink sack! Ah! Ooh. Knew it! Bloody well knew it. What's happening here? That was a weird little fade to black. Look at her teeth. My God, this guy just looks so evil. The boy's a thief. Or no idea. This man just started attacking the boy. That's kind of funny, too. The boy's a thief. And both of you thought striking a child was a suitable punishment. If his parents won't do it, I will. He's an orphan. How'd you like it if I struck you? You raise a hand to me. It'd have better of stealing it. Ooh, this is getting, this is uh, ramping up quite quickly. Let the boy take it as a warning. He's getting off lightly. My coin's on the tiefling. He looks angry. You goddamn snake. Go, child. And you, you had this coming. Oh, knocked out cold. And stay down. Did you see your smirk at the end? Oh, we had a smirk at the yeah, end. You stayed on your character kind of smiling. Yeah, it, I will say that the ancillary, ancillary, I always forget how to pronounce this word, uh, little, little emotions really work Come for this game. Oh, he got back we up. What's up, Barth? Thanks to you, I almost lost my locket. My mum gave that to me on her deathbed. Get out of my face. Got nothing to say to you. Okay. I mean, I literally did nothing. I was just an innocent bystander, but you be as mad as you want, little guy. Let's head back down here. Uh, we've got Barth there. I wonder if Barth will talk to us some more. What's up, Barth? Get out of my face. Got nothing to say to you. Hey, Barth, you're just, you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, I think. 
We also have Ramira, who we've talked to, and Aridin. So this little party of adventurers that I believe took the druid with them, but we don't know much about the druid just yet. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. You could try to be a little friendlier. Thanks, Mum. Now please do feck off. Charming. I can see why the locals like you so much. Them devils ain't local. They're refugees. The fellow who runs this place offered him shelter. I should speak with this fellow. Do you know where he is? Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cookpot by now. Boiling a cookpot by now. You ran away from a few goblins. Wasn't no few goblins, mate. There's an entire hive of them. Contract failed to mention that part. Can I have a look at that contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Just tell me where to find the relic. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. Thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Okay, you're a little bit of a negative Nancy Adadine. Anybody else up here? We've got Bex and Dennis. D -d Denny? Denny? I can't really see what his name is. Also, we got to read that note we just grabbed. You sound like your father. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Two tiefling refugees. You'll be lucky to get a square of dirt at a public house. If that's what we're offered, we'll take it. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Optimism, my friend. Try it out. Surely destined for the slaughter. What would be more perfect than to die by your love's side? And known love was not enough. Ooh, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, man, this is so cool. I can't believe how many unique little lines of dialogue they give the Dark Urge. Again, I'm assuming the Dark Urge, because I haven't chosen these mean-spirited replies on my other characters. Either way, uh, let's go back up this way. How do we wrap back around to... How do we get up to that? There's like a lady up there with a telescope. I've, I've gotten there before, but I think I was able to jump up from those rocks. Either way, we have a stone door. Let's go inside here and see who we've got. It's the secluded chamber. The secluded chamber hidden away for a thousand years. The devil you know in autobiography. Invasion, so many books to read. Wooden chest, Travis Guide to Sword Coast, Travis Guide to Baldur's Gate, Invasion Plans for Eltergar. Front and center, a thespian's memoir on the origins of Zentarim. And we've got Tiles. Your name's Tiles. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Okay, and this should be Zevlor, the man with the mission. Ah, you... Thank you. You stopped us from making a bad situation much worse. I'm Zevlor, and you're... New here. What is this place? A druid's grove, dedicated to the Oak Father Sylvanus. You'll find its keepers just as thorny, I fear. Whatever your business here, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This latest attack will only strengthen their resolve. 
I have no quarrel with druids. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. I disagree. You guys helped me out quite a bit in the goblin fight. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her. For more time to prepare, if nothing else. Perhaps if you could help me find a healer. You're wounded. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. I'll find her, and I'll speak to Kaga while I'm there. Really? We're messengers now. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, more of my people will die. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. Oh, but I will. No, Don't sir. you worry about that. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to get to the good stuff. I believe that's everybody at the Grove. I think we have one more interaction to see. Yeah, and also how to get up to that lady with the telescope. We'll have to figure that out as well. If we get some strength modifiers somehow. Uh, but yes, yeah, so basically this is a tiefling refugee camp that is right outside of a druid grove. So we haven't really talked to any of the druids yet. Although that's not entirely true. We've talked to some of the druids. Oh, wait. Can we talk to the rat that's in here? I hear a rat squeaking. Did the rat come in here? Also, is it illegal to be in here? I don't know. Can we see the rat anywhere? I can hear squeaking. Because I'm still not sure what that key opens. You would think it would be one of these wardrobes. What's the spec here? Standing mirror. Nothing's locked, though. I don't know. If anybody knows what that key that we got in here goes to, please let me know. I would actually love to open that up. Wait a second. Alchemist's cabinet. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Uh, yeah, she's got interesting things to say, but she's not saying them, which is kind of weird. Let's go ahead and go into sneak here. And then we will click the alchemist's cabinet. Aha! Use the cabinet key. Okay, that makes sense. Now, what do we have in here? Bottle. Pick up and add to wares. We've got drow poison. Coat your active weapon with poison. Targets must succeed constitution saving throw or become poisoned and fall asleep. We've got basic poison. we got simple toxin. Uh, why does the alchemist have so much poison i'm genuinely asking who is the alchemist here on my way is it her can't give up now i forget exactly what she says but she's not saying anything to us because we intimidated her either way let's go this way uh, like so we have one more tiefling interaction before we get to the druids and that is this person here donnie well it's actually this person here matisse let's talk to donnie again insight oh where the hells did you disappear to before? We need a 10 here. Get a 5. Do we have any inspiration? We have one. I'm feeling lucky. Yeah, baby. There we go. Watching his hands, you realize he's miming opening something. Detect thoughts, read his mind. Persuasion. Yeah, I think we'll always use persuasion when we can to manipulate our vic- I mean NPCs. Is it a chest? A door? Can you show me where it is? We need a... Five here. Got a 21, baby. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Hello? Uh, okay. Hel hello? 
His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Hey, thanks for showing me the door. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, what hatch did you open up? Concealed hatch. Ooh, I've never actually done this before. Tiefling hideout. Yeah, so I've never been able to actually uh, pass those checks. So this is new to me. We've got a wicker chest over there, which we will jump to. Oh, you're kidding me, right? It's got to be close, however. Uh, maybe if we move, like, right here. It's a chasm, which means that's an insta-death, I believe. Can we... Target is too far. Gosh, diddly, dang it. No other way to get over there, I don't think. Um, maybe with Shadowheart, again, she might have a bit more strength than we do. Oh, but I am. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Okay, Astarian, I don't have time to keep talking to you. Hold on. We'll, we'll talk to you later. Stop Stop well, accidentally look who's come getting to clicked on. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Messing with our business. Yeah? You let that adventurer hit Melly. Now, you're going to pay for it. Interesting. Are we playing as Gale? You're about as intimidating as a... Fla I think we're playing as Gale here now. I think we accidentally clicked Gale's portrait. Read her mind. Persuade. Yeah, we're definitely playing as Gale. Can I switch characters? I did not mean to play as Gale here. You're about as... Okay, so what would Gale say? You're right. I won't mess with any of your gang again. Promise. Okay, we need a... Oh, God. A 12? And we got a 12, but that's when you click it. It's like after the bonuses. Not good enough. I'll go tell the gods you're pushing us around. See you around, chump. How dare you? You'll go tell the guards what now? I wonder if we should just kill them, honestly. Uh, okay, they're all running out of here, which ain't good. Yeah, I've never had these, these, these interactions before. So this is quite interesting. Uh, let's see if we can talk to anybody else. Fables of Faerun 3, The Enticing Elder. And who do we have back here? We've got Molly. You're blocking my light. Oh, I remember you. You're the one who let the ugly human hit me. Uh, you want something? Were well, you just here to stare at my forehead? I love how that's my fault. You need to learn some manners, I think. Tell my parents. Wait, you can't. They're dead. Now find yourself a maze and get lost. I'm busy. What a bunch of absolute ruffians. We also got Mole here. You did this to yourself. Okay. I'm not really worried about the guards. I mean, I literally was just an innocent bystander. I, d I did nothing. Thieves stash. Interesting. I wonder if we can, like, interact with that and then tell the guards if they get on our case that they're, these little kids are thieves. Uh, what else is in here? Looks like we can climb up these rocks over here. Where does this go? Anything? Looks like we can jump from here to over there, which probably does something. Can we get there? Too high? Oh, you're so very close. Yeah, this is what sucks about not playing a strength character. If you're playing a strength character, you can jump to so many different places. Because my main other dude is a paladin. And he can jump to, like, all these places. Uh, looks like we're not doing that, unfortunately. I wonder where you can go up there, though. It definitely looks like a pathway. Alright, so I do know what these kids and stuff have to do with. Um, but I won't spoil it. There is another child that we must talk to that will oh unless can we climb that yeah there might be like a hidden chest over there or something uh the way we're going to do this 100 percent is basically if we can't do something you know we either can come back for it or we just can't do it if it gets locked out or whatever can you jump down here okay we can take the log way that's fine 
Uh, so yeah, one more tiefling to talk to, uh, which basically included all of these people here because they're all a part of, like, of the same sort of little tiefling faction. But let's go back out through the uh, crumbling crevice or whatever the heck it was called. And then over here, we should have somebody called... Uh, oh, Sylphie and Matisse, or Mattis. Hello? They are not wanting to talk to this person for some reason. Are we getting, like, chased by guards? Is that why? That would be bad. Uh, okay. Now I'm a bit worried, because these people are not talking to us. And Still we are there. Dirge. So Hello? Hmm. Let's make a new save. We'll call it... Dirge main save. We'll call it... Let's triple click here. Or one click. Dirge guards may be after us. Yeah, I feel like something is going on with them alerting the guards. And it's just not triggering correctly. Let's walk over this way, though, for now. Last room. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Jeez Louise, that was a little dramatic. Okay, we've got somebody called Rachel. Are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Fair enough. We've got Amek. Those dirt kisses would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. We've got Zeph. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. That's true. We could all come together. It's it didn't be all in this together. We've got Komira. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. This grove is like a cauldron about to boil over. I say we check in on the child, make sure she comes to no harm. Thieves deserve to be punished. It's as simple as that. Great. Another one. We'll figure something out. We always do. No, we'll figure something out. You can trust me on that one. All right, let's talk to... Do we still have animal speaking? We do. Uh, we've got Mino. Keep this up and you'll have blood on your hands. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back. Why? What's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Corga's orders. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Who is this Korga? Uh, let's talk to Magrin, who's in bear form as a druid. Outsider. Away! Outsider. Away with you! Uh, fair enough. Uh, ooh, interesting. We've got a fellow over here called Volo. Ah, my 
good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. And there's no overstating my disinterest. I've no time for questions. I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. Fine. Ask your questions. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins? Hardly. They were shape-shifted divas. Ye gods! Can it be? How terribly compelling. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? <laughs> it was brass, no doubt about it. Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes, they called out the name like it, like it was a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious, oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Hold your tongue. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. What brought you to the wilds in the first place? Why, goblins, obviously. Well, someone ought to chronicle these curious events. I'd heard the master of this place, a druid called Halson, might be able to point me in the right direction. But he's been quite captured by them already. Ironic, really. Wait, about our conversation earlier. Why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Until we meet again, indeed. We've got Bosk the Bear. Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch a bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. <laughs> so if you're not getting it, Volo here gets everything wrong. Uh, we've got somebody called Ilar. Okay, I don't know what any of that means, but fair. We've got somebody called Inway. Defende nos ab iminentibus alquilibrio tuo. I wonder how accurate that, like, those musings are. Like, if if that's if that actually means anything. Uh, we have a plaque over here. Let's check that out. By Sylvanas, the old oak, all death begets life. Now worship, or now notice, they're worshiping this idol of Sylvanas, which we can actually steal, steal now to where's your throw. We can't attack it, though. What happens if we take the crossbow? We can indeed attack the idol of Sylvanas. I'm kind of curious what happens, but we'll be smart about this. Let's talk to Tahan. Enumbra. <laughs> Yeah, what they said, for sure. Uh, Tusk. <sighs> I thought you were Halsey. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Halsey? Promise me a mate. Ew, okay. 
Well, you'll just have to wait for the mate, buddy. Now, uh, we've also got... Apicusis. Speak. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Hmm. Suspicious. Do the other druids know? Because I could tell them. No, please. A moment. We may talk, but... I do not trust my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. You still haven't told me what you were doing with that bird. It searches for news of Master Hulsen. Only he can set this right. If he is gone, well, pray that he is not. I hear a ritual can protect the grove. Are you helping prepare it? I would prefer not to. But if Master Helsin does not return, Korga will give the order. And my voice will not matter. Fair enough. What bird are you interacting with here? Um, not seeing a bird anywhere. Unfortunately, holding alt does not reveal all talkable characters. Correspondence report. Let's read that. A message scratched in a worried hand. Received message from Hag via Sirith, one of Nettie's birds. We buried Sirith a ten day ago. Not sure how Hag found him. Time. Message itself was a threat, but I'm also an invitation she wants to meet. Haven't replied. Buried Sirith again beneath a heavier stone. Now that is interesting and foreboding. Interesting and foreboding indeed. We got a bird over here which we can talk to called Topaz. Shh, I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Kick the kick at the bird trying to scare it away. I think we would decept. I'd leave it out. It's too dull. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This is better. Absolutely better. You should give me all the things in your little nest over here. Shiny key. Ooh. What is that? Let's take that. Looks like he doesn't mind. Uh, we got a bear over here. Let's make sure to talk to everybody, though. We got Elowin. Yeah, totally agree with that. We got Karik. Okay, and then finally the bear. Let's go ahead over the 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 a sleeping bear called Tuffet. I'm sleeping. Could you move just a little bit? I need to use the elevator. Uh, okay. Oh, cool. So you can also throw some food. I'm not sure if it specifically has to be a fish. I've seen it done with a fish. But you can throw some food, and the bear will move as well. And now I guess that has been everybody outside that we have talked to. Um, let's head inside. How many different zones are there to go? Oh, a lever? Wait, where? Where was that? I saw a lever somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, that elevator goes back up to the start of the Emerald Grove. However, let's head inside, where some interesting things await. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Have you lost... Please! I'm sorry! This is madness, Korga! She's just a... A what, Rath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil, and I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked that poison before. 
A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Ooh, very interesting. Haven't heard that line of dialogue before yet. Thief, poison, what's the girl's actual crime in prison? She's just a child. Do nothing. What if your guards outside said you wanted to see me? Here I am. I think we do nothing here. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. My god. Flick your eyes to the exit so the child will try to run? Your mind wants the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. Don't druids cherish harmony. Jailing the girl disrupts nature's balance. Release her, I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Read Kaga's mind. Tell the snake to be at ease. The girl must not be harmed. Keep silent. Prepare to attack. Flick your eyes to the exit so the child will try to run. Now, Rath. No. Isthias, Tila, to me. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? Bury the remains. Continue the rite. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the rite. She's dead. The child for that. Korga, we are guardians. Let's get in and out of this place before Spare any your tears. decide to bear their She knew the us. danger. Oh she my tried to run. god. Wow, Dark Urge is interesting. I, holy crap, I did not expect there to be such changes like this. But this is the game that never disappoints. Hello, Kaga. Go on, say it. You think I'm a monster? Honestly... I just wanted to see what would happen. Monsters both, then. Viper to viper. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. This rite must be born of powerful magic. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Do what you want. It's none of my concern. Ah, uh, yes. You like to meddle. See what happens. So let me tell you what happens next. You will offer your services to Zevlor. Guide the Outlanders out of the grove. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Prattle all you want. The refugees are not my concern. Then they soon know the sting of my venom. Get out. We have no more business. I think we have a newfound respect for Kaga here, even though she's quite rude, obviously. Okay. Well, we need to go and talk to everybody within here. Uh, but before we do that, I think we'll go inform the girl's parents of what happened. We're definitely, I think, leaning towards chaotic evil. Given that we really enjoy seeing what our actions 
shall do. That was crazy, though. Wow, I was not expecting there to be that level of a of a choice there. That was so cool. Um, awful, of course, but quite interesting. We have Locke and Komira. Unless you have news of Arabella, I don't want to hear it. Kaga killed your daughter. She called her a parasite and a threat. Kaga? Kaga did... What? No. No! That snake! That... That... Ah! We stop her. We should have stopped her. We didn't do this. Do you hear me? It was Korga. Would that we could speak Cursed to you, my Ursheim friend. Alas, I hate them all. I've never learned to converse with your kind. Move on. Okay, I was just informing you. And I think we'll end the episode here, ladies and gentlemen. This playthrough is uh, quite interesting, to say the least. I'm hoping you're seeing some choices that often aren't explored, considering this is some dark, dark stuff. Uh, but yeah, we have to talk to everybody within here, especially Nettie, who might have a cure for our tadpole. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more quicker... Please leave some comments, some likes, subscribe to the bell turned on, check out the Patreon, check out the Twitch, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.